Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, great. Uh, wow, you guys, this is so exciting. I, um, I'm poor. <laughs> Thanks. I've been that way my whole life. It's not really any different for me now. It's exciting to be back in Hollywood where I was raised poor. It's exciting to come back and go, oh, wow, I used to take that bus. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't live on that street. Stop it. You. True story. Um, <laughs> really, true story. Uh, I, but I did leave. I left Los Angeles because, um, listen, you guys, no offense, LA is a great place if you hate to read, so God bless you all. But I did move to New York. It's a little more literary. I don't mean to be competitive, but I do live in Brooklyn Heights. It's a lot of joy, you know, James Joyce. That I don't want women. That's okay. You guys don't read. You don't know. It's okay. I love you. Um, and so I had to leave LA, uh, uh, but I waited till after the riots, because, you know, mama needs a new pair of boots. And, um, <laughs> and so I, uh, I moved to uh, New York, and I had no money at all, and so I moved to the cheapest place I could find, which was in Coney Island, which is, if anyone knows the map of New York, it's kind of on the other end of New York, uh, Coney Island's at the, it's at the beach, it's nice, it's an amusement park, sweet, it's a little ghetto-y. It's okay. What I was scared of? The Russians. Well, yeah. Oh my god. And I know they're floating around here. We do, you have, do you have any here tonight? Alright, we're gonna talk some shit about those fuckers. They are mean. They are mean! Oh my god! What happened? I, Vladimir, we live at the beach. Let's crack a smile. No? It's kind of, uh. And I was always mistaken for a Russian chick, which is a compliment, because they're strippers. So, thank you, Kamana. <laughs> But, uh, but I, every time I would go shopping in the neighborhood or go to the fruit market or whatever, the, the old ladies would accost me constantly, and they were always like, And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak Russian. I'm sorry, I'm American. And they always said the same shit to me. They always like, I found out means American whore. I don't know how they knew, but that was exciting. I mean, Psychic in Coney Island. <laughs> I don't know what happens to the Russian chicks. You know, they're hot and they're stripping when they're young, and then a few years go by and they eat a little too many pierogies, and I don't know what happened. The computer are just waxing up your coochie after a while. You know what I mean? Just, you're like, whoa, what happened, ladies? Did it go that bad? It's really. Yeah. Hey. But uh, I actually made a great friend of my waxer. How can you not, really? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Thanks. Doing a great job. Because I tried to go to the Koreans, and I walked in, and I took off my pants, and this woman walked in, and she goes, oh, I'm going to have to get two people. Okay, fuck you. How about that? <laughs> I'm a Jew, and I'm quite hairy, so <laughs> I'll go see my Eastern European sisters. How about that? <laughs> Keeping it real. So, uh... So I, I show up at the Russian wax for the first time, and I live on a G-string, because God knows there's enough to deal with around that shit, you know? It, it, during the winter, I just let it grow out. It looks like I'm wearing corduroys under my corduroys, you know? <laughs> I have that, wait, 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 wait. I hope you like the 70s. <laughs> Pow! Fucking okay, yeah! Oh, yeah. With this recession, the bush is back, people. So you better start hunting again, motherfuckers. Get in there and hunt. The hunt is on. The hunt is on for Red October. <laughs> Ew. That's gross. Oh, too much. Um, Never too much. Anyhow, she get, oh boy, she was pissed at me too for the underpants that my, my lady Sasha, is her name, she walks in, she's like, oh, Jesse, what is, uh, no, take off your panties. It's like, okay, Sasha, Ooh, we're getting out of business. And um, she gives me a free wax, I have to put that in because I am very poor, covers her bear. And, um, but she's a perfectionist, as she says, Jesse, I'm a perfectionist, I take tweezer after, okay, no, God. Are you, have you lived till you've had a tweezed cunt hair? Like, that, that, that. Oh my God! It's uh, one sad little tear. I hope he loves me, tear. You know what I'm talking about? I hope he loves me that much. Uh, so, so sad. 
state of affairs. I don't like the girls that get all the hair removed. I think that's scary. I call that look the Amber Alert look. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Lick it. <laughs> I like it when you lick it. So settle down. This is more of a PSA, I think, than a rant. <laughs> it when you lick it. <laughs> I could think about that for a while. I, uh, I hate the guys that go down on you like it's Halloween and shit. They're just like, ah, what? <laughs> what was that? Get in there. No, get, stay in there. You know what? I'm, I'm sick of this shit. Ha, huh, the fucking head push. I'm doing it now. Fuck you. Ha, ha, ha. Now lick like you've never licked before. <laughs> I just can't. Thank you. One applause. <laughs> starving right now. We're poor. I will eat a cock for breakfast. I don't know what that means at all. It's nutrition.